Hey everyone, Andrew Chelman here with a machine quick tip. Um, in this video, I just want to take a look at the audio export menu and one cool little feature called Loop Optimize um, that lets us turn our project into wave loops that we can use on different hardware. Um, so first of all, I just want to show you the example that I'll be using here. I have a track going here, and what I want to do is break uh, my different groups down into wave samples and then use those in a performance setting. So in this case, I'll be using Tractor's Remix decks and I, and I want to get wave samples of my different groups and my different patterns. Um, so the thing I have here is a, a little vocal group here. And you can see I have a pattern with a, a hit at the end of the pattern. And that sounds like this. Oh, yeah. So it's this vocal hit that has a lot of delay, a lot of reverb on the end of it. And um, what I want to do is make sure that when I, when I break this down into waves, that it sounds seamless and it sounds just like it would as if I'm playing it in machine. Um, so if I were to, uh, to export this audio traditionally, what would happen is that um, the audio would actually cut off at the end of my pattern. So I would get the, the original hit here and I would play for just a little bit, but as soon as the pattern ended, that reverb tail would cut off. So I wouldn't get that nice, nice echo trail at the end of it. Um, so that that's what would happen if I just went up to File and then Export Audio. And then um, if I didn't have this option checked here under Loop Optimize, I just decided to export this audio. I would only get the little bit end of that pattern, and it would sound really weird when I tried to perform this as, as a wave loop because um, I wouldn't get that nice reverb trail that I'm used to hearing in Machine. Um, so like I said, if I go to Options up here and then check this Loop Optimize option, this is going to make sure that the full trail end of your sound is included in the loop um, in waveform. So just to give an idea of what this does here, I'll close this. Um, so what this is going to do, Machine is going to export this main pattern, and that's going to look at the audio that would happen if the if the pattern happened right again. Um, so if I create a new scene here, and then if I just put this pattern in again, um, if I exit here, I'll show you if I mean. So I have that hit at the end of my first pattern here, and then if the pattern played again, the machine is going to look at the audio that would happen at this beginning pattern here, and then it's going to take that and copy it over to the start of that original loop. Um, so basically what it's doing is taking any of the audio that would be cut off and then cutting that off and putting it back at the beginning of the loop. So what that's going to do is as you're playing these wave loops, it's going to make sure that the audio sounds very seamless, just like it would in Machine. It's going to make sure that you have those effects and everything sounding as you're used to hearing them. Um, so this is a little bit confusing to explain just with words, and I want to show you an example of how this works. So I'm going to head over to the F1 I'm going to Tractor and just show you what the what the um, option here, what that loop optimize allows you to do. So let's go ahead and move over there and see what the difference is between these two samples. 